Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you part two of my get this classroom flipping ready to go for September for the first day of school. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kirsten. I am a pre-kindergarten teacher here and this year I am coming back into this grade, back into an old classroom. So the teacher that took over this position um, when I had moved into kindergarten, she left a lot of her things. Um, and so I've just been busy kind of bringing all my stuff back in, putting everything I want up on the wall, sorting through my stuff, her stuff, the stuff that was left in pre-kindergarten. So it's a lot of work, but basically what I have left to do until the start of the school year, which is not very far away, um, I have to finish setting up my centers. I have to kind of start tidying up all of the little piles that I have to like purge or to offer up to other teachers to take. Um, and I have to wait for the color printer to be reloaded and the laminator to be reloaded so I can start doing that stuff because there's lots of like wall words and kind of quotes that I want to put up but I have to wait for a big laminator to be reloaded so that I can do that but today my goal is to I bought a couple more um, bins from Dollarama to kind of sort through some of the um, shelves that need bins but I didn't have any because they've been used up so I'm going to do that um, I might do my pretend center um because i did set up my block center i have to organize all of the toys that i don't want in blocks because if you're like me i don't like giving my students all of the toys at once because i find that can be overwhelming especially when we're learning skills of like how to tidy up after ourselves so I like to keep each of my centers very simple so that we can teach the skills of how to play, how to clean with fewer options so it's less overwhelming. So I need to find a space for all of those toys. And who knows what else might happen today. Usually it's just kind of like a go with the flow. You know what I mean? So stay tuned and you'll find out what I'm gonna do today. All right, so this is one of the shelves that I'm trying to organize with some of the new bins that I grabbed. Um, these little black ones I found at Walmart, and then these white ones I found at Dollarama. And then I'm also gonna organize this cart, and I found these really cool like desk drawer um, trays, which I thought would be really cool for like, visuals and stuff like that to sit in these little guys so that is what i am going to work on right now so wait for the transformation so here's a quick peek at what it looks like now that i kind of have the bins all organized this is for my question of the day that i do with my kiddos not sure what I'll put in there, find something. And these are like whiteboard supplies, cleaners, extra magnets, wipes, brushes. These are fun little flash activity cards for like movement breaks and stuff like that um, if we don't need a computer. And then all of these pieces in here are kind of like calendar, schedule type cards. Um, this drawer is for my little classroom management stuff. So I'll put some more tools in here. I gotta find the beehive that goes with the bees. Um, these little images are to create patterns on the bottom of the calendar. That was from kindergarten, but I'm sure I could find some way to use it in pre-K as well. And then the bottom is just these fun little kind of like special event type schedule cards that I can also put underneath the numbers so that kiddos know like what day is a home day, if we have a library day or something special, then they just have these little Velcro dots that we put there. I have also ordered a bunch of like magnetic items for my whiteboard for like containers for my markers, um, shelves to put 
the week's um, storybooks that I'm going to read, um, some cute like succulents that you can magnetize to the board. So this guy is going to get a transformation, but I'm just waiting for those items to come from Amazon. I think to kind of finish it off, can't decide if he should be like this or like this. I think that's better. Um, some paint splotches. Might put the kiddos' names on them and put those on the door. I created this super cute, like, puff floral design. I need to grab a couple more for each end, but that looks super cute. And then I also added up this Imagination in Bloom sign above the Pretend Center. I put these cute little party things up. So now I just have a bunch of things that I need to laminate and cut because I'm kind of wanting to redo. I know I have my alphabet up there, but I think I found a different one that I like better. So <laughs> that might be redone. And some of the other things might be redone, but it still looks like a mess, you guys. But lots of super cute things have happened and I love it. You guys, where has the time gone? It is already the first day of school. I was just so busy visiting with friends, doing all the things that I didn't really film too much more of a get ready with me, set up my classroom kind of thing. But at the end of today, I'm gonna give you guys kind of more of an in-depth tour of what everything looks like in my classroom. So I am so excited for that. But right now I am getting ready for our orientation day. So that means our kiddos and their parents are coming in. We're gonna give them a bit of a preview of what pre-K is gonna look like this year. And then the following next two school days are staggered entry days. So I only have half of my kiddos on each of those days. Um, and then Wednesdays, all my four-year-olds come. And then on Thursday next week, I have all my three-year-olds and my four-year-olds together. So I still have a couple things to do and get ready before orientation starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so we survived pre-K orientation. It went so good. I got to meet most of my littles today. Um, a couple were missing, but we're super excited for the year. They all seem super sweet and they are so stinking adorable. But I thought I would do the classroom tour for you now. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you how the room turned out.